Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here. Today I have a basic but very effective isolation drill that will increase the speed of your punches. And the good part is, there's no equipment required. Let's take a look at how it's done. Okay, so before we take a look at today's drill, let's just break down how to throw a punch. The jab. So the jab is the lead arm straight punch, which looks like this. And as many of you know, it's very much a full body movement. I'm springing off the ground using my quad and calf to pull my entire body weight in the direction that I want to go. There's some slight hip rotation, and then I extend my arm and make contact with my fist against the target. Now, we're always developing and working the muscles from the hips down. When we go for runs, when we jump rope, when we're shadow boxing, when we're hitting mitts, when we're hitting the heavy bag. So we're always throwing punches the correct way. But I call this an isolation drill because I want you to develop the muscles from just the shoulder down. So what we're going to do is stand in our fight stance, and we're just going to throw 50 jabs for three sets, taking a break in between. So I don't want any rotation in the hips, no springing off the ground. You're staying in the same spot and it just looks like this. So we're trying to make each punch faster than the last. Focusing solely on just acceleration, right? I'm trying to go from zero miles per hour to as fast as I can get my arm to the target and pull it back. And that's part two, is timing. So I have to find that sweet spot in between which that I throw or push the punch out and then I pull or start to retract the punch back. Because if I do it too early, it's gonna be a pulled punch, which looks like this, right? I'm not getting full extension, I'm not getting the range, I'm not getting the power. And if I pull back too late, then it's a lazy punch, right? I'm leaving it out there, my head and body is exposed, I may start to drop the punch on the way back. So focus on the acceleration, how quickly can you throw it from zero to 60? And then how can I find that sweet spot and bring it right back? So it takes some experimentation. Now, with this drill, I want you to just do it solely in shadow boxing, just punching midair. Because if you hit a heavy bag, then you're going to get some assistance in the bounce. It's going to pull your, your punch back naturally, right? Just physics. When I punch into the bag, equal and opposite force, that bag is going to punch back into me, and it's going to make the retraction easier. So this is why I really just want you to do it just standing on the floor, not hitting anything. And I know I'll receive some comments of people saying, Shane, should I get full extension in my punch? If we're talking about jabs and crosses, my answer is yes. Hooks, uppercuts, obviously we keep a bend in our elbow, but I have received comments from people saying they have elbow pain from getting full extension, hyperextension in the elbow. It's why I still advocate doing curls. A lot of fighters say, you're not gonna be doing this motion in a fight, so you don't need to work the biceps. But the biceps, the forearms, and all of the muscles in between need to be developed so that I'm not feeling pain when I throw my straight punches. So if you are experiencing pain, then maybe just do this drill more slowly, give yourself a couple months to develop those muscles in that area, and then start to pick up the pace, pick up the speed. So after you get through all 150, three sets of those uh, 50 jabs, then we're gonna go to the cross. Now with the cross, I want you to stand in sort of a finished stance. So instead of a neutral fighting stance, we're going to pivot on the ball of our rear foot, turn the hips over so that our hips and shoulders are facing our opponent, right? Our, the target that we're aiming at. And then from here, we're gonna throw the crosses. So again, 50 in a row. You're gonna do that for three more sets, I'm sorry, two more sets for a total of 150 punches. All right guys, thanks for watching. So give this drill a try and you have to do it consistently two to three times a week and you will start to see progress in just a couple of weeks. Guys, don't forget, I have a bunch of seminars coming up, so be sure to follow me on my Instagram, at Shane Faison, for updates. Until next time, be sure to subscribe to get the fight tips before your opponent does. I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the Underdogs.